Hello everyone. Okay. Today let's see how a femoral artery catheterization is done for a cerebral angiography procedure. So after cleaning and draping the lateral femoral area and after locating the femoral artery that is by palpating the anterior in superior iliac spine and pubic symphysis 3 cm below or 2 finger breadth below the inguinal ligament we infiltrate the area with local anesthetic. So what we are seeing right now is the local infiltration of the area that is already prepared sterilized area over the femoral triangle. So for correctly localizing into the femoral artery we need to palpate the artery after getting the rough position that is 3 cm mid below the mid portion of the inguinal ligament. Then we take the needle with its beveled edge up and insert in an angle of 30 to 45 degree towards the direction of the umbilicus. So from the plane, horizontal plane, it's about 30 to 45 degree towards the direction of the umbilicus. So when we, in this needle is at the femoral artery puncture needle or the Seldinger needle. So usually uh, the gauge size can vary. We use the 18 gauge. So now you can see the artery, arterial blood gushing out. So once you get the gushed out needle, gushed out blood from the artery, uh, after the puncture we insert the wire guide wire into the needle so that we are making sure that we got the access properly so if there is an initial hesitation uh, or there is some difficulty we need to see again whether you have correctly put in the artery by readjusting the uh, needle again or maybe completely removing the needle and re in the reinserting it once again so now after you can see the gush of blood coming you insert the guide wire again now you can see it is smoothly going into the femoral artery which continues as the external iliac artery now once we are sure that the guide wire is into the femoral artery we need to insert the femoral sheath so in go, femoral sheath is a bit, bit larger one so we have to make a small incision some interventionist does not prefer using an in, uh, cut with a scalpel but it's preferably uh, preferably we should put a cut and then only insert the femoral catheter or the catheter sheath into the uh, femoral sheath into the uh, through the guide wire so once we have done that we remove the that catheter sheath also has a dilator within it so we will remove the wire guide wire along with the dilator outside so now we are removing the guide wire along with the dilator outside so once we have done that we are pretty sure that our femoral sheath or the femoral uh, catheter sheath is in, inside the femoral artery and we have got the access now let's check the patency now once we open we have seen that the gush again of blood is coming out so we have reached the femoral artery safely so after that it's a procedure that sometimes some interventionists i don't know everyone would agree or not but we use uh, we do we need to give heparin so that the uh, area is not getting thrombosed that especially the catheter inside of the catheter and uh, before that we have to do the double flush technique to see whether we don't have any clot or any air bubbles in the system so this is double flushing so we take a blood a uh, lot means blood blood is now withdrawn initially then a little bit of blood is withdrawn and we remove the bubble and re-inject it into the system now this is the portion where we are giving the heparin so double flush was initially done now heparin according to the procedure we give a dosage usually usual digital subtraction angiograph which is finished within within five minutes needn't be given heparin but if you think that the procedure is complicated maybe an abnormal arch difficult tortures vessels etc you may give heparin after giving the heparin you can flush the heparin into the system so now we have finished that also so our system or the femoral sheath or femoral axis is completely ready. 
now what we need to do is use a catheter so various catheters can be used uh, head hunter uh, glide cath vert or even uh, jetkins right catheter can be used based on the uh, patient uh, age as well as what do you think the caliber of the artery would be and what how the artery would respond to the catheter so before inserting make sure that oh, one wire is put inside this catheter that has come out because we have to make sure that once the catheter is into the artery the cath the wire should be always in front of the catheter so it should be at least 10 cm ahead of the catheter so now we have inserted the catheter in with the wire inside so wire is already gone in we look into the monitor to see whether the wire has gone in yes the wire has gone in you can see it has reached up to the vertebral uh, means about uh, at least to the arch of aorta so now we can safely pass the catheter in the femoral artery catheterization was done by dr arun our first year dm neurology resident which was done prior to a vertebral artery stenting uh, for a stenosis as shown here this is the post procedure where we have put the stent and reformed the flow to the vertebral artery i thank all my teachers in ms medical college dr fasal gafur sir dr mohammad rafiq sir and dr firoz khan sir for teaching me this uh, interventional techniques and i hope that you have enjoyed the video thank you